Hello friends, I'm Kendra Winchester and welcome back to my channel. Today is the big day. Today is the second part of my March haul and I have been gathering the books on my desk as they've come in and I think it's about time to clear the desk and put them away on the TBR shelf. Um, yeah. It's kind of embarrassing, like it gets really bad and I used to keep them downstairs on my coffee table but then people would come in and I have like these giant stacks of books everywhere. I mean, I still do, but I have less. <laughs> so we're gonna do some indie presses first because that's fun. Uh, we're gonna do The Impossible Fairy Tale by Han Yuju, uh, translated from the Korean by Janet Hong. This is about a young girl named Mia who is trying to create art and something dark and bad happens and yeah, uh, this is very much stream of consciousness, but the cover alone, like, it's sort of like a Where's Waldo for random objects. Like, there's keys right here, and there's a pen, obviously, in the middle, which I did not see until the book arrived, which I don't understand. Yeah, I'm really excited about this book because I didn't know it was translated until it arrived, and then I realized, oh, okay, that's cool, because one of the things that Autumn and I are trying to do on the podcast is feature more indie presses and more translated works, so, yeah. Um, this one is high on my list and oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I want to hang out my wall. Next up, I'm going to treat these as sort of like a unit. Um, this is a bunch of books from the unnamed press. Mercedes over at Mercy's Musings did a video featuring uh, this wonderful press and I was like, oh, that's cool. I have to put them on my list to check out and then they actually emailed me and they ended up sending me this wonderful collection of bunch of their female authors because that's what we feature on The Reading Woman and I am so excited to read these books. They are quite heavy. Like she talked about how heavy they were in the video and I was like okay but yeah my stars. So this is The Border of Paradise and um, Esme won the uh, Grey Wolf nonfiction prize so she's going to be writing, uh, is writing a work of nonfiction that will come out probably in about, oh, maybe early 2018? I don't know. I'm really excited. The last one was Riverine by Angela uh, Palm, and before that was The Empathy Exams. So I generally love their nonfiction stuff. So anyway, I didn't know she wrote a novel, um, and then I saw her name in the unnamed press catalog, and I like freaked out, and they were very kind and sent me this book. Um, the other ones are Nineveh and... Uh, in Plain View, and then their newest one um, is Blue Money, and it is about um, a prostitute from the 1970s. So I'm very interested to see uh, these different books. They all seem wonderful and fantastic, and I'm hoping that we feature on them in a indie press theme something or other on the podcast relatively soon. We shall see. This debut collection, um, I googled the author's name. Um, and I could not find, I could not find how to pronounce it, so we're just going to go for it. Um, Leslie, uh, Neka Arama, that is not right, but, um, if you, if you know how to pronounce her name, please let me know. I greatly appreciate it, because we're going to talk about this on the podcast, and I, I need a pronunciation guide. Anyway, so this is what it means when a man falls from the sky. This is just a debut short story collection and Roxanne Gay gave it five stars. This is from Riverhead and I'm really excited uh, about this book. I was researching short stories for the podcast and found this and was like, please, 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 can I have a copy? And they sent me one and they are very, very gracious and I cannot wait to talk about it and tell you more about it. I haven't read it yet. Um, I'm actually reading Roxanne Gay's short story collection right now. And then we're gonna have this one and there's just so many so many short story collections. Um, we actually picked too many, so. Oh my, look at the design all the way around. Like, it looks like some form of sherbet or something. Anyway, so I will probably tell you in my first wrap up in, in April what these short stories are about, so stay tuned. This is The Wanderers by Meg Howery. This is from Putnam, and the cover is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, just look at that. And this is about three astronauts who are preparing to go to the mission on Mars. Um, you don't actually go to Mars, it's all about their training, and it's a multi-perspective novel, so you get uh, the three astronauts and their families, and so far it's been really interesting. I think it's fun, and it's also nice to finally read like a space book written by a woman, 
Uh, next is The Sport of Kings by C.E. Morgan. I am just finishing this up. This is by FSG uh, in the U.S. And this book is about the Forge family. Um, it's also about a um, half-white, half-black man named Alman. And uh, it's, it's really a lot about race relations and class, a lot about class. And um, yeah, in America, we try to pretend we don't have classes, but we do, even if they might be more flexible than other countries. But I thought it was very interesting how she uh, approached that. And my favorite, this is written in different sections, and my favorite section so far is definitely Almond's growing up section. So anyway, um, I will get back to you about this book in the wrap up. But yes, this is a book that you will definitely want to put on your Southern Lit reading lists. Uh, another book from Riverhead, and this is The Lonely Hearts Hotel, and I finished this last night, and I'm still in a book coma. Oh my goodness, guys. So this is about Rose, and I think it's pronounced Perot, and they grew up in an orphanage together, and they get separated, and then they try to find each other again, and all shenanigans ensue, and all this happens. Now, I will say that this has a lot of trigger warnings in it, but um, it's told in a very matter-of-fact way, I think, but... Um, yeah, I I just love this book. So, yeah. I know it's not really fair when, like, I haul something and I've already read it in between hauls or whatever, but um, I'll give you a better, I guess, overview in my wrap-up that um, will come out next week. But, yeah, it is beautiful. Look at that. And, oh, what am I thinking? Check this out, guys. Isn't that fantastic? Like, you just don't expect a white book, like, to come out of this thing. It's, it is gorgeous, guys. I was really just blown away by this book's design. So I pre-ordered The Twelve Lives of Samuel Hawley by Hannah Tinty, and it wins the Kendra Actually Pre-ordered This Book Award of the Year um, because uh, it's about Samuel Hawley, and he has, like, these 12 bullet wounds, and he and his family have been on the run for a very long time and then his wife dies and so he takes his daughter to his wife's hometown that they kind of like settle in and hide out and stuff and then um from what i've read like she the daughter has to come to terms with her dad's past and so does her dad and stuff happens and you know as always stuff happens but if that alone doesn't get you to read this book this should check this out oh my goodness this is the actual book this beautiful printed thing like oh my goodness I can't even believe like how beautiful it is and I am in love I want to hang the just actual book like cover not the not the jacket but the actual book on my wall and love it forever so I'm really excited to read this book if I wasn't recording this I will probably be reading this so stay tuned and hopefully I will be talking about this very soon uh, next is one of my orders from across the pond and that is The Good People by Hannah Kent. This is coming out in the United States in the fall, but I really wanted it now, <laughs> so I ordered it. Um, my mother-in-law actually has, she's the English teacher slash librarian at the school. She does both um, where she teaches and so she <laughs> has a read-a-thon every year and if you read a certain number of pages you get a prize and so she still does that with all of her adult children and in-laws <laughs> And so we did it this year, and she uh, got me stuff for, um, she gave me basically, a, you know, book depository credits, and so I went and I got two books, and yeah, so this is the first one. Um, I think the gold leaf on this is gorgeous, and I've heard nothing but wonderful things from my booktube friends over in the UK, and I cannot wait to read this book. Um, next up is A Crown of Wishes by Roshan Ch Roshani Chuksky. And this is from St. Martin's Griffin, and this is the second one. Um, I'm going to hold these up because they look great together. Like, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like, the design on these books is fantastic. You can see, like, design details and everything. I really love, like, I just, I just love this. <laughs> the book itself, I know I gave mixed reviews last time for this one, but I really love the world that she's created and I really would buy basically whatever she comes out with because I want to know more about the world. But apparently she's writing a different series and I don't know if it's set like in the same universe or different whatever, but I will be picking up her books because they're just wonderful and I hope she comes back 
to South Carolina so I can get these signed and meet her and then just gush and melt all over the signing table. But we won't, you know, talk about how much I embarrass myself in front of authors. <laughs> Uh, another book that I have been looking forward to is The Idiot by Elif Batuman, and this is from Penguin Press. And this is her first novel, though she's been a staff writer for The New Yorker for a long time, and she also wrote a nonfiction book. But, like, her books are titled after Russian novels. <laughs> I haven't read The Idiot, but um, this book is a coming-of-age novel of a, a girl who's the daughter of Turkish immigrants, like the author, and... I'm really interested to see what happens. It's supposed to be really funny. I listened to an interview um, with, I think it was like the Los Angeles Public Library System or something. They have a podcast and um, yeah, I think it's called Allowed. Is that right? I might be thinking of a different one. Anyway, uh, she was really funny on the podcast and she really made me want to read her book because I really wasn't sure. I mean, I've read a lot of college coming age novels type of things, but she was just so funny. I was like, this has to I have to read this book. So yeah, uh, looking forward to this one. Last but certainly not least is my other UK purchase and that is Homegoing by Yael Jesse. Now I've already read this book but I really don't like the US cover and so I was, eh, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it. But then I discovered Book Depository and my life has changed forever. <laughs> So this book is an amazing book about two half-sisters who don't know the other one exists and one is sold into slavery and taken to America, the other one stays on the Gold Coast and uh, stays over there in Africa and so it follows the two lines of descendants and to me it sort of felt like a what if, you know, like what if a girl, the girl had stayed in, the, in Africa and what if the girl had been taken to the United States, sort of like that, but at the end, like you see, like it, ra it, it wraps up nicely. Um, um, y'all, this is y'all Jesse's debut novel, and you can tell that, but this is, I mean, this is her debut novel. She's gonna knock the socks off anything else that she writes, and I'm really looking forward to see what happens. And yeah, if a book is gonna go viral uh, and kind of go crazy in the book publishing world, it needs to be something like this. So yeah. Uh, this book is not only beautiful because end papers fastest way into Kendra's heart is to have your book have amazing end papers. I'm just telling you right now. You want me to read your book? Put end papers in it. I'll tell you. So yeah, that is all of the books that I hauled for March, second part of March, whatever. And yeah, that was a lot. So I'm going to stop now and try to find homes for all of them. And I guess I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.